another video I didn't plan on making. Forrester has... Well, <laughs> I got new high score in the temp gauge is about what I can say. Oh. I'm guessing the radiator is probably cracked. Or there's a hose that blew somewhere. But in the rain on the side of the highway, not the best place to be. So I'm going to let it cool down for a couple of minutes and then try to limp it into uh, a shop right, which is right down the road, a little grocery center. Let it cool off and maybe get a tow from there. But, uh, man, this is just coming after. Being at the DMV for well over an hour for an appointment to register my Vulcan, finally. So, if that wasn't bad enough standing for a while, <laughs> this is just the cherry on the, on the top. But, I'll let it cool for a couple minutes and then uh, update you from there. So a little update, I let the uh, let it sit for about 15 minutes, went to go restart, battery's dead, which kind of sucks because the battery's only about two years old. But yeah, you can see there's a healthy coating of coolant all over everything. So my buddy Stove's on his way to come in, we'll try to jump start it, get it down the road about an eighth mile, maybe get a tow to his place. His place is only about six, seven minutes away. I might be able to get lucky and... Um, drive it in but we'll see hopefully the motor's not completely shot the battery seemed pretty weak it, it felt like it didn't want to start but at the same time it was like um it was a very slow crank so maybe we got a seized one here boys who knows we'll, we'll figure that one out real soon won't we but one thing you never want to do in this situation is ever take the radiator cap off especially when it's overheating but what i did to test it first is i squeezed this hose there was absolutely no pressure in there so i meant well it's also probably no coolant, but you never know, you could still get blasted with steam or burn the hell out of your hand. But if there's really no pressure in the hose, it's almost always safe to take the cap off. However, I'd still advise against it. I poured some coolant in that I had, luckily, and it's just pooling up all along the bottom here. So I'm going to go ahead and say this radiator is probably the culprit. Hopefully the motor's still good uh, at some capacity or the next, but if not, then... Maybe it's time for WRX swap, which uh, which could be fun for the channel. Yeah, you could see all along the top here. Excuse me, I'm filming. All along the top here, uh, it's just dripping out. Hope there's enough, enough in there just to get over the stove's place or the shop, right? That is, of course, if it stops again. Or, I mean, sorry, if it starts again. It's really good at stopping right now. Just with the brakes again on it. Um, it's like a yearly maintenance thing with this. But... We'll see. I'll update you when Stove gets here or when we get to the shop raid or whatever. Whatever the plans are. And Stove has finally made it here. So, let's try to jump in. So we went over to the quick check. Picked up a whole bunch of water. Hopefully this is good enough for the uh, three or four miles it is back to Stove's place. We'll start out with a couple gallons here. Toss her in. Check that there's no pressure, but hold on. Uh, hopefully there is some coolant left. All right, uh, you won't be able to see, but you see, when I push the hose there, <laughs> water comes up here, so this piece definitely lifted up. And uh, yeah, now it's even more coolant soaked, so to kind of even that out a bit, we're going to steam clean it with regular water. All right, stop number three, this time at a church. We're now less, just less than a mile away. <clears throat> Riding just over, just, I'm sorry, just under hot. Well, <laughs> just under the, the top of the gauge. So, we're going to let it cool for a minute, put some more water back in, and then limp it back. Well, this is what we've just been doing. Just some regular water, not distilled. You, you take what you can get out here. All right, and we've made it to stoves, a familiar place. Next up, we'll be buying a new radiator and hoping that all fixes everything. I'll probably throw a new timing belt on, too, because the timing cover's cracked, and I can't imagine it didn't get soaked with coolant. And... Uh, don't want a belt snapped, of course, on top of that. So, totally radiator's done.